Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets Daily News here on Turfcast. And obviously, if you watched yesterday's show, you'll remember we spoke quite a lot about the reports from BBC Sports Wales that Craig Bellamy, obviously Burnley's acting head coach up until recently, and they didn't really announce what his new job role would have been, but they did say... He would be working with Scott Parker as part of the coaching team. Well, obviously, that's not the case anymore because it's been made official. Craig Bellamy is now officially the head coach of Wales national team. And I think, like, like I said yesterday, I, I alluded to it yesterday. I said this a couple of weeks ago. He wanted to stay at Burnley unless he was given the Wales job. He's been given the Wales job. So he's gone. And nobody can begrudge him that opportunity. I think every single Burnley fan watching this which is Craig, nothing but good luck at Wales. He's got a job on his hands. I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. I think Wales are probably in the worst position they've been in for quite a while. But um, again, like I said yesterday, he probably sees that as a good challenge uh, and he can be the man uh, to improve them. Um, I think it tells us where Wales are, that uh, a man with limited experience is, is getting the job. But like I said, uh, uh, from a personal point of view, I, I wish... Craig, nothing but the best, and I, and I hope he does well there. I genuinely hope he manages to qualify for the next World Cup with them. I mean, I doubt it, but I genuinely hope he does. Um, but yeah, Craig Bellamy is now officially the manager of Wales. Um, the club announced it yesterday, straight after the Welsh FA announced that he was the manager. And he said some nice things um, about Burnley um, on the club website. He said, from the first moment I walked into the training ground at Burnley, I knew it was the right club for me and I have loved every minute since. The relationships I have with Alan, JJ and all the people at the club in every department made my time at Burnley special and leaving a truly difficult decision. I think that's meant to say, and made leaving a truly difficult decision. Um, but the chance to be the manager of Wales, my country, has always been a dream that has never left me and a chance I just couldn't turn down. And, uh, and like I said yesterday and today already, fair enough, completely get it. Uh, I wish Scott all the best. He's a good person and a close friend of mine and the club is in great hands. To all the Burnley fans that have made me feel so welcome, thank you and I'll see you again soon, Bellas. Uh, and then obviously Chairman Alan Pearce went on to say a bit, he said, I want to thank Craig for all his hard work during his time at Burnley and wish him the best in his new position as Wales manager. Craig, uh, sorry, Craig has been a very important part of our wonderful journey. Uh, a wonderful journey the last two years. Again, they've missed a word. A wonderful journey over the last two years. Uh, I've admired his leadership, knowledge and passion. I am certain that he will continue to find success in his new role and I wish him the very best of luck. Yes, and I said that yesterday on Twitter. I wish Bellamy nothing but the best. Like I said on yesterday's show, at least Craig hasn't looked us in the eye and lied to us um, like company did after that last game against Forrest. Because for those of you that aren't aware of it, I don't think I actually did anything on this on the show because it were just rumours on Twitter, but they are true. Um, company had been approached by Bayern before the last game against Forrest. So all the stuff he said in that huddle, do you remember the huddle? was obviously a load of... Well, we don't know what was said in that huddle, but I would presume it would have been a load of spiel. Uh, and then he obviously went into the press conference and said things like, this club, we will rise again, um, and I will do the best I can and all that, and that was obviously a load of rubbish. So I think a lot of Burnley fans respect Bellamy for, for, for not doing that. And I think ultimately for me, I got a lot of respect for him over the last few weeks where he stepped in and be, been the acting head coach and, and you know just rolled his sleeves up and probably knew he wasn't getting it even though he wanted it at that point. Or if he didn't, he's obviously found out at some point and they just carried on doing the job. Carried on doing the job until Wales have said, yeah, fair enough, we want you. So yeah, I wish Bellamy nothing but the best, but it's official. Craig Bellamy has left Burnley Football Club. Elsewhere, if you're watching this before 3pm, then the official kit will be released today by the club at 3pm. Now this has been confirmed by the club. They did put a tweet up just saying... 1500 and like a sneak preview of the shirt that's obviously on your screen now and I was told yesterday hence the tweet that I put up for those of you that don't follow us on Twitter saying tomorrow feels like a very nice day for a kit release and obviously the club have now confirmed that it will be out today at 3 p.m so looking forward to that one if you're watching this after 3 p.m., obviously you'll be fully aware that it's already out now. If you are watching this after 3 p.m. and you've missed it, then make sure if you're on social media to follow Turfcast because it will be up on every single Turfcast social media by about 3 or 1 p.m. So make sure you follow us on there. And I will obviously give my thoughts and opinions on the shirt 
on a video. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it in tomorrow's news video or do a separate video yet. I haven't decided yet. Potentially a separate video and then do a news show, keeping it to news about incomings and, and gossip and stuff like that. So we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of people think it's just a shirt, especially the home one. It doesn't get much different, to be fair. And I, I respect that. But I don't know, there's something about a new shirt that gives it like, right, this is the new season. We can kick on now. We can finally start feeling like it is the new season. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes on the club socials at 3 p.m. And actually, I know some people don't like doing this, so feel free if you don't want to do it. But if you go on to the club's shop website, which is shop.burnleyfc.com, there's a little tagline at the top and it says, sign up now for exclusive access to the 24-25 Burnley FC home kit and then welcome to the long side i believe this is some sort of new brand that they start in a long side brand i i know visa put a tweet up yesterday um just basically of, and you would have seen it actually on the channel those of you who saw visa's fan reaction he was wearing a long side shirt and i did wonder what that was at the time um, but he put a tweet up yesterday which was just him with a clock uh, I don't know what the clock reference is. I'm sure we'll find out later. Uh, and it's basically just with him wearing the hashtag long side t-shirt and him uh, referencing the website. So I presume there's some sort of a new range coming out. Obviously, the club haven't spoken to me about this. They, they, they must have spoken to Liam about it, hence the shirt. Um, but um, Liam's not mentioned anything to me. He's probably been told not to say anything, to be fair. But if you go onto the website... And you, and you sign up to that tagline at the top. Again, the club hasn't told me to say this. Um, I'm just doing it for you guys so you get the new shirt sent directly to your email. Now, that's what will happen if you sign up to that, I believe. Um, but they did this last year, and I think I think they, they released it on that email around two minutes before they put it out on social media any, anyway. So uh, if it's worth it, I'm not sure. But I know some people don't like it because it's a way of sort of like farming email addresses and getting people's information they already have all my information. So if I just give them my email address again, what does it matter? That, that's the way I see it anyway. Um, but yeah, new home shirt released at 3 p.m. today. So looking forward to that. And like I said, I know some people aren't massively fussed about the new shirts. But yeah, for me, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it looks. Just hoping it's not underwhelming like last season's was. We can go back to a kind of shirt that we had the season before. I do have my worries about Castor though. Um, but I guess, guess we'll find out at three. Finally from me, not a big show today because there's not a lot of stuff out there, but Lucas Perez, I have been told that he's already training with the team or he's with the team. I presume that meant training. Um, so I'm expecting that to be announced potentially today, maybe tomorrow. It's definitely done. I don't I don't know what they're waiting for. I did put a tweet out literally just before I recorded this, actually, about saying I don't know what they're waiting for. And somebody has responded saying probably a work permit and it could be something to do with that i don't know how it works is he allowed to train with the team when he doesn't have a work permit i'm not sure this is that bit's pure guesswork but he's there he's definitely at barnfield he's his missus has put um something up on instagram that is from um, a manchester church a picture of him walking in a church in manchester which is obviously where the lads the majority of the lads go and live so interesting, he's definitely in the country, my source tells me he's definitely been to Barnfield, he's definitely been with the lads, so it's all but done, well it is done, we just we just haven't haven't had an announcement yet, so we might see an announcement today, I've been told, um, but that was, it didn't sound very certain when the person said that to me, so um, I guess I guess we'll see, I guess we'll see on that one, but if anyone's panicking about it potentially not being done, don't worry, he's he's in the country, he's been to Barnfield, he's, he's with the lads, so it's done, it just hasn't been announced yet, so yeah, um, Perez will be done, and hopefully it's done today, could you imagine, could you imagine if we have the kit at three, an announcement of a player arriving at six, England win at 10, hopefully it's 10 and it's not 11 and we have to go through penalties again. That, that would be some day, wouldn't it? Especially for the English clarets, obviously the majority of you are. Um, but I do apologise for what I'm about to say next for those clarets that are not English. But come on England, hoping we can get the job done tonight. But yeah, that's it from me. Apologies, not too much out there at the minute. But um, yeah, at, at, least, at least we know where we are with the kit and we know where we are in a way, uh, with uh, Perez as well, because uh, a few people were getting worried about that. But no, he's definitely in the country. He's definitely met up with the lads. So, uh, fingers crossed, uh, we get an official announcement on that soon. To, just, to, just to calm anybody's nerves down that, you know, thinks that it's, it's going to fall through. The only thing that would make it fall through, as far as I'm aware, is a work permit. But again, if I'm being told it's going to be announced pretty soon, then it sounds like to me that 
the work permit is uh, work permit. Sorry, is all done and dusted. But yeah, let me know what you think. In, in, what you think? Sorry, in the comments below, what you think of Bellamy going to Wales and all that. We had you say on that yesterday, but now it's official. Sad to see him go, but wish him all the best. Um, there's not much really we can say on the kit, um, other than are you excited? I guess um, I, I'll have more on the kit and on, on other videos, and of course Lucas Perez as well. But thank you for watching, and we'll be back tomorrow as usual. Thank you.